Yeah, and, and when he's on the ice, you, uh, the other guys feel a little safer. Uh, you know, every team in this league, in the American League, always usually has a, a couple guys that can, uh, you know, throw the body around and can back it up. Um, it was nice to have that in our lineup. Uh, he's made some strides. Um, he's a nice skater. He's got a hard shot. Um, he's improved on his puck plays and the physicality part. If he keeps that up again, there's a, another guy, uh, I'm going to look for him as from leadership next year. You know, he's one of the older, uh, guys on the team now. So there's another role for him to, to uh, thrive in and, and a little challenge for him is to be a leader on the ice and off the ice. But the big thing for him too now is like a lot of these guys in the American hockey league deals, Let's change those in the NHL deals. Whether it's with the Hawks or not, it doesn't matter. Everybody's dream is to play for the NHL, an NHL team. So how many teams are there now, right? 30, what are there, 32 teams now? I can't even keep, when I came in, it was, I think, six. I think, no, it was uh, 21 teams. So, I mean, there, there could be up to 40 teams here. Uh, 30, I might not be alive for it, but who knows? But these guys, that's what they got to think. They can't be just survivors playing in the AHL. They got to uh, hone their game to where they're uh, potentially NHL hockey players, whether you're American League or not. And I think uh, Ozzy has that in him. Um, his motivation is there, and, and I'm looking for big things for him next year. And with him, too, I mean, the physicality, for one thing, the, the scraps is another thing, but he wants to really develop, especially, you know, the puck movement aspect, the shutdown defensive aspect. Yep. He's getting faster and faster, and he's a pretty big guy. Sometimes that's always a bit of a challenge to, to be a big guy, but have some feet underneath you to keep up with some of these speed guys. Yeah. In terms of his development and in that transition of, you know, the physicality into actually, you know, moving the puck around and being able to keep up, how do you want him to grow moving into next year and continue to improve, as, as you say to keep up with the transition that the the yeah. league is going into yeah well he, he's he's a good skater he works on his skating all summer i know that i've seen him do it uh with kevin delaney um his skating isn't an issue it, it really is to simplify his game uh we don't need toe drags from him we need simple hockey he plays a hard he should be and that, he was at the end of the year him and lindy were our shutdown d when we were trying to match up against some good lines that we played against and they did a hell of a job um, and that's going to be his role pk guy play physical be hard to play against in our d zone and then when he does get the puck simplify his game and make that first pass clean and then yeah you know, if you got if you have room to carry the puck carry the puck if not then uh, distribute it the right way. And I think he's on his way to be uh, better and better over the years as since we've had him. 